Welcome back to the Daily Grind. So I am going to be planting some seeds. And I've got these little cell planters for starting the seeds. And they're pretty heavy duty. I actually got these from Backstrap Farmer or something like that. I'll, I'll link to where I got them in the description section. I also got these. These are the 10 by 20 trays. Um, and it holds these perfectly to all the way down. I don't know the exact amount. I'm forgetting how many it holds in each one for these. And then, you know, you've got other types of planters that you could plant in here, but most planters are made to fit in these. And the nice thing is these are pretty heavy duty plastic too. You can pick them up with one hand, even filled, and they don't collapse on you. Some of these are really thin plastic. So I highly recommend these if you plan on using them for more than one season. So I made this mix of potting soil a couple days ago. I put in a video on how I made this, but basically it's just coconut core mixed with perlite. And real simple, we're just gonna scoop it up, pat it down, and there we go, There's it's filled. Everything's planted, I still got a ton of dirt. In fact, it almost looks like I didn't even make a dent in there. By the way, check it out. I'm holding, holding it one-handed and it's not breaking down. And before you plant your seeds, you want to look at where you're going to be planting them. And this is the bed that I plan on planting them. It is a three foot this way and six foot that way. I also have a very similar bed, but this one's four foot by eight foot, I believe. And so it's a little smaller. And that way you know how many seeds you plant because you could plant, you know, a certain amount of cells and then not be able to fully take up everything that you want. So always look on the back of the packets and you want to look at what the spacing is. So seed is a half inch, row spacing 16 inch. So that's pretty wide spacing. Uh, days to maturity. Uh, so I guess that's uh, days to germinate here is seven to 10. Days of maturity is 45 to 60. So they're pretty quick. Um, maturity is 28 to 20 or 48 days. So that's also rather quick. So they get spread five inches. So I'm guessing the height is 12. I'm not sure why they're asking for 16 inches between the rows. I don't think I need to do that in this raised bed. I'm going to be honest. I think that's pretty far apart if they're only five inch spread. So I think I can get the rows. We'll call it 12 inches apart. If they're five inch spread, that'll give me an inch in between, maybe two inches in between each row. We're doing, it's uh, three foot is 36 inch. Divide by five inch, we've got seven total plants in each row. If it's every 12 inches on this one, and this one is also row spacing 12 inch, we'll make it easy and both of these will be 12 inch spacing um, between the rows. So that's basically every foot. This being six foot, if we're doing a row every foot, well, let's call it six. So that means if we're doing seven of these per row, and we do two rows of them, we need 14 total plants of arugula at least. Now I would recommend doing a couple extra. For this, one every six inch instead of five. And so at 36 inch, so 36 inch divided by six equals six. So we can get six spinach per row. So if we're gonna be doing two rows of spinach as well, we're gonna need at least 12 plants, which again, I would recommend sowing a couple extra. Okay, so each one of these cells is six. And we know that we're going to be doing 12, at least, of the spinach. I would recommend doing one extra cell, at least for myself. And then for the arugula, we need 14, at least. But again, one extra cell. So we'll get 12, and we'll do one extra, and that'll leave four extra plants. And one thing very important is to mark them. So we're going to do a niche. But one thing I always do is the plant spacing six inch. We'll do the same, six inch. So that way I know when I go to plant these, I don't have to go and look this up. We'll start with the arugula. We're just going to stick them in one and we know that this whole tray is going to be arugula. So that makes it easy. Same thing here and same thing here. So we know we're doing three separate trays of arugula. Same thing here, spinach, spinach, and spinach. Let's we'll start with the arugula. And they want about a half inch deep. So we got a pen here. We'll just make half inch holes. I mean, you guys know how to sow seeds, I'm sure. 
and there are arugula seeds. And it's, I always plant two to three per hole just to ensure I get good amount of germination. Now this is an older packet so I'm actually going to do like four or five. I am going to do a few more with the spinach because I'm not sure how viable these seeds are and how, how deep. Seed depth, half inch, same thing. I forgot to do the holes so let's do that. Now these are larger seeds so it's easier to know how many you put in. Now the other way you could plant these is to not fill it up fully and then add more dirt on top instead of doing the holes and that works too. So I got all that planted. I still got this amount so I can do up to six rows of different plants and maybe do some lettuce. I am going to be planting some lettuce. I've got this. It's like a really red lettuce. Um, most of the red varieties of leaf lettuce do really well in uh, frosts and cold weather. It's, uh, six inch apart so the same thing. So I'm going to do two packs of it I think and then we'll try this one. This is also a leaf lettuce only it's it's called the prize head and I think it's a green variety. It doesn't have a whole lot of info because I got this as a microgreen type of um, seed so it came with bulk and I you know sprinkle these on and grow them for the little babies and then eat those. Um, they're really good by the way but I figure I'd give them a try as full grown. I've never seen them get full grown so. And this is six inch so we'll call this the same. You know what I'm just gonna prize head doesn't tell me anything so Seed depth, a quarter inch, and I'm guessing it would be the same with these. The prize head is the Merlot. This might be one of those that is beneficial to just scatter on top and then put a dusting of dirt on top since they like it really shallow. Now, this, as you can see, came with a ton of seed. So. I'm not worried about over feeding these and they'll go bad before before I do. Even doing microgreens, I mean, I, I'm not sure I'll ever use it up. We don't do it as often as we used to when we are in the apartment. Before we had a place to grow stuff outside, I was doing it because it was something that I could grow some veggies for the kids and they enjoyed it. Now, I grow a lot outside so I haven't gone through all the microgreens. Waste not whatnot though. So we'll stick them back in. And I'm going to be honest, I don't think I'm going to utilize these two. So I might put that dirt back. i still got some of these from before. Excuse the train, guys. I apologize. I live right near a train. And there we go. That fits perfectly right on the side in the tray. So I've got <laughs> right here is rosemary, two rosemary plants and a strawberry that I didn't plant. And the strawberry is doing really well. In fact, I might throw that in a regular pot and just see how it does. I mean, they honestly probably could grow just fine in here. They don't really like a whole lot of space. They don't need it. Anyway, there we go, guys. All right, and when you first water, um, you want to do it with like a spray, okay? Uh, because you do not want to knock these seeds out, especially the lettuce. They can get knocked out of there. But once, once this gets wet and this soil kind of compacts a little bit then they should be good but even so the beauty of these 1020 trays here is that you can water from beneath the only problem is this is dry soil so we will fill this up real quick in a minute but first let's wet the top you just water from beneath fill this tray up and it soaks up the water now you don't want them sitting too long in water, so don't overfill. I am going to do a pretty big fill right now. But I love this because I can, once they get sprouted a little bit, I can add some nutrients into, you know, the water bottle um, through some liquid fertilizer, and they get they get their fertilizer. And I just pour it in there. It sucks, soaks it up, and the plants get their nutrients. We have sprouts. So all of the arugulas sprouted. So far, none of the spinach. The spinach takes a little bit longer, but we also have all of the lettuce sprouted too. So we'll see 
how long it takes for the spinach. This is only four days since I planted them. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. If you did like this video, please hit the like button. And as I had mentioned before, I will link in the description section where I got these cells and the trays. Along with some other things that I use in the garden. I will see you guys on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.